here to warm our hearts is a little bit of chat about what has become something of a phenomenon, and that is the show Wednesday. Uh, what has it been like for you seeing these incredible record-breaking statistics come in for that show? Honestly, surreal. Like It kind of feels like I'm living someone else's life at times. At the same time, it feels like nothing's changed. It's kind of hard to explain, but like you see the numbers and you know, you, the group chat goes off and I'm kind of like, what, this is insane. But then I like put my phone down and go back to my day and everything is kind of still normal. So in that sense, it's, yeah, I mean, it's been, it's just been really weird. And just the, yeah, the sheer number of people who have watched it is baffling to me. That's, it's nice though that you, so you, you've got a little WhatsApp group from the castmates you stayed friends with afterwards and you're all like yeah. talking about it. Absolutely. Yeah, we do. We still, we still chat. It's, I feel like, you know, since the show's come out, everyone's gotten so busy, but we do still, we check in on there, especially when something like that comes out. We're just like, oh my God, have you guys seen that we're the most watched in this? Event? <laughs> so we do check in on that, which is really nice. Yeah. I'm, did you have any idea when you were making it? Did it feel special on set? Was it like this, this could be a thing. I mean, obviously the Adams family is like a hugely popular thing, but there was no certainties about doing a spin-off set in that universe that it was going to be as big as it was. I don't know. People, people ask me that. And I feel like kind of a nerd if I say yes, just because I'm like, uh, I can't, I don't know. I can't say like I was there watching it going, this is going to be huge. I'm so excited. Like I, I didn't really know, but at the same time, I think we all had moments of it is the, I think that's the best way to explain it is like, we didn't really know. We didn't really think about it. Cause we were just like, let's just, we have to get through these days and these weeks in Romania. And, but then there was just like, there's like moments. Like there was a moment that I was standing near um, like Christina Ricci and someone came up and was like, Oh, the Adams fam. And I was like, this is weird. Like this is bizarre <laughs> that this is happening. Like next to me in a shot. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. It's um, it's amazing. I mean, for stats fans, uh, I'll, I'll just list off a couple. It's currently, and this might already be out of date, it's currently the third most watched English language series in the history of Netflix. Only Stranger Things and Dharma have been watched more. Kind of a big deal, right? Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that Dharma had been watched more as well. Mm, yep, they're the only think... two. This might be out wow. of date, though. If you know something, I, think I don't we might know. Might have beat Dahmer. I could be wrong. I think we might have beat Dahmer. Something tells me we beat Dahmer, but I could, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you. We're gonna call you the second most watched show. We'll just um, say second. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. No one's gonna check. Um, so obviously, like, I mean, I grew up with the Adams family. Did you grow up watching those original two movies? Yeah. Oh, definitely. We loved them. I mean. I had a sister and my mom and my dad as well. We, yeah, we loved those movies. I think, my, I think I watched them at my babysitter's house a few times um, and she was kind of religious. So I, I felt very lucky to get to watch that, but I, yeah, we loved it. We loved it. We, we, we were always kooky and weird. So I feel like we related to them, you know? Because that, I mean, this is the thing. So you like you look at it on the surface, you go, "Oh my God, they're all very strange." But actually, at the heart of the Adams family is this really, really solid family unit who love each mm -hmm. other and all their weirdness. Yeah, and just like some real specific characters that you just wish you knew. I wish that we had cousin it. Like, I also <laughs> loved. I loved the idea of like a severed hand running around. I just thought that those those things were so cool. It was like if those really existed. That would be sick. So I feel like we, yeah, we loved those movies. I loved Wednesday too, growing up. So oh, yeah. Circle. Yeah, I, I mean, definitely got the funniest lines in both movies, which leads me on to my big question. It's, I, you, you don't have to pick a lane, but I, I would love it if you did. Adam's Family or Adam's Family Values, which is the better film? Mm. That's a really hard one. I might have to pick is values is the one she goes to summer camp right correct i think i'm gonna have to say values yes i just that is the I right just, answer. i found it <laughs> yay i won uh i feel like and i was just awesome that made me want to go to i went to summer camp too and that just made me yeah definitely i think values is so yeah good. it's the camp stuff the camp stuff is just it just takes it to the next level it um, does so i don't want to oversimplify this but I think I'm right in saying you 
auditioned via a self-tape uh, for your role in Wednesday. And six weeks later, you get a call going, yep, that's it. You're in. Is, is, is that an oversimplification or is that kind of what happened with a few maybe little tete-a-tetes of other information here and there? That is exactly how it happened. No other, genuinely, I, I want to say six weeks, I think that's accurate, is like, yep, I did the tape. It was, I think, like a 20-second long tape. It was so short. Hmm. And so I just sent it and forgot about it. I remember the day I taped it, it was really hectic, too. Like, I went to this I went to this place to tape it that was supposed to be, have better lighting and stuff. And I spilled my ch- – I was in Arizona, so my chapstick had melted in the car, and I spilled it all over my shirt – and so I had this big grease stain on my shirt, so I couldn't do the tape. So I had to go home and I had to do the tape in my living room. So it was like this really hectic day as well for like this 20 second self tape. And I did the tape and yeah, like six weeks later, I was waiting to hear. I thought I was going to hear back about this other project and I got the call and they were like, hey, you booked uh, that show Pilgrim, but it's actually Wednesday. And I was like, oh, that really? I did? And then... <laughs> And then I kind of had to go through it all again and like look back at like who's the director and of course it was Tim Burton. So I was like, oh, okay, I don't even care about the other things. Like I'm good. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> uh, I mean, is that normal? Is I mean, I, I I know obviously we all went through COVID and so self tapes became a you know de rigueur of how to audition uh, these days as opposed to doing it in person. Obviously, there's you know transatlantic things as well. You know where you're in another country, but. Is that a, a usual thing to never have to audition in person for a role to just get cast off the back of a self tape? No, no, it's not normal. <laughs> it's absolutely not normal. I don't know what I don't know what they were thinking. To be honest, <laughs> I could have <laughs> turned up in some random, but no, I don't think it's normal at all. I do think it's it's happened a lot more. I, I know of other people who did things, but like usually there's still multiple rounds, even if you never really do it in person. But yeah, that that was a freak freak accident probably but no i i would say i mean everything else i've auditioned for any future things it's usually have a couple more rounds usually have an in-person round um it's a it was a weird thing i think specifically because of covid they were casting out of so many countries so yeah i think it fell into place pretty cool huh though pretty cool to just be sitting there going, I'm sorry, I'm in? Yeah, oh, fine. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I love it. All right. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Uh, you, you mentioned um, a, a man who I consider a, a, a legend. I grew up watching his films, uh, Tim Burton. Obviously, you know, he directed some of the episodes of uh, of Wednesday. Did you have the opportunity to be directed by him? Did did, did, did he call action on, on the day that you were there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. He directed the first four episodes, so he was there – I would say most of the time, um, uh-huh. pretty much every day you'd go into set, he was working with you. So like my first day on set was with him. Um, I was there on his lap. Like I, anytime I, you were in on an episode he was working on, he was going to be there. He was very, he's very hands-on. So he's always, he's always there. He's always calling action. And yeah, it was just, it was really crazy, but yeah, he was there a lot. And I got to meet him and work with him. What's it like working with him? I mean, I'm, I'm asking as a fan because, you know, I mean, like Batman Returns is, to to my mind, the greatest Christmas movie ever and the greatest Batman <laughs> movie ever. Please don't tell Christopher Nolan. <laughs> I won't tell him. I won't tell him because, you know, he directed the other four episodes. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, no, it was so much fun working with him. I look up to him so much as well. Like, I also grew up on his movies. I think so many people did. Um but as soon as you meet him, you kind of his his status is kind of out of your mind because he's so humble and he's so um, he's just kind of he's so down to earth, but in like kind of a like a quirky way. I don't know. He just he's got this energy to him that makes you really excited, but also kind of just puts you at ease in a way. So you're, I never felt intimidated. I was really lucky. But no, working with him is awesome, and he he has a great time. You can tell he's having fun and. Yeah, you just want to you just want to have fun and be on the same wavelength as him, really. That's cool. That's cool. And yeah. um, so, what is your favorite memory then of, of filming Wednesday? I have a favorite. Uh, well, one of my favorite scenes. I, I'm a big fan of the dance scene, uh, just because. I was going to ask. Me. Yeah. Well, okay. What's your favorite scene? The dance scene. I, I love the dance scene. Uh, you know, it's the combination of um, 
of Blade, weirdly, and Carrie. Uh, Blade because of the sprinklers with the spoiler, uh, and Carrie because obviously Carrie. So, yeah, I love the dance scene. Yeah, that was a really cool one to film just because, yeah, the, that was crazy. Uh, I mean, what? How, how many things do you work on where you get to be rained blood on and Timbers <laughs> running around and telling telling you where to go and telling people what to do? So it was really awesome. Um, but I would say, like, one of my favorite scenes, actually, I also loved the canoeing. That was really, mm. that was really fun to film. Um, ugh, it's so hard. I guess... I get. I mean, I guess I would say the dance scene, but just all of it. I mean, I could pick so many different different moments that just were so much fun, and especially the scenes where all the nightshades were together, like the group of teenagers um, at the school. Those were all of them were really fun. Oh, that okay. There was a day. Um, it's in the final episode, so I won't spoil too much. But the day where we're you know we're all in the library and we're like okay, we got to have this plan and figure out what to do. And then we like snap twice and then we run off and do our thing. That was so much fun to film because we had to do this necklace thing where we pulled our necklaces off. Um, but like all, of, they didn't tell the costumer until like just before. So our ne- our necklace is like clipped on and our, the costumers were like, what, what are we going to do? Like the wardrobe, were, they didn't know what to do. So we had to like stick them together so that they could come off really easily. And so we would be running down the stairs and someone's necklace would go and James would call cut and we had to start over from the top. <laughs> and it was just hilarious. Like by the end of the day, we were all just laughing so hard and they were like, guys, we got to get this done. But that was so much fun. I don't know why it was so fun, but it was great. Because it's, it's famously on a on a Harry Potter movies where you put a lot of people the same age, young people together on, on a movie set like corpsing and like and, and just like losing it is is a real problem for filmmakers because everyone yeah. just gets once you get into that zone it's difficult to come back from it yeah and also you don't want to be the one like if you're really good at not laughing which i can i can do i can like buckle down if you're really good at not laughing you don't want to be the one missing out on the fun so then you kind of have to like let go of that but then it's like should i uh, who's who's sad am i on <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, no, the corpsing, the corpsing, I think you're right. It's just, that's just what's going to happen if you put a bunch of people together that make each other laugh really easily. <laughs> Uh, well, listen. Congratulations on Wednesday. Thank uh, you. It's, it's it's been a hugely enjoyable series to watch. Um, so, 